Let me tell you an ancient story. There was a master who had a young man come to him and say this to him. He said, I want to be your disciple. I want to learn all that there is to learn about God. I want to feel God so much that I can give thanks in every moment. The master said to the young man, go into the woods and sit there. Be aware of everything and come back after you have discovered the specialness of God. And so the young man went out and he was very eager. He was in the woods for three days and three nights and he viewed everything with open eyes and open ears. He came back to the master and he said, I have seen it. I have seen the animals in the early morning light. I've heard from a distance the animals as their paws went across the fallen leaves. I've heard a stream miles away in the distance as it went down the mountainside. And I've heard the wind. The master looked at him and said, You have missed it. Go back and look again. And he went back, and this time for four days and four nights he struggled to see what the master was talking about. But the struggle became so great that finally he just in a great release started to cry. And in that moment he realized. He ran back to the master and said, This morning I heard the sun coming up. I heard the rays beaming from the sun. I heard the grass as it woke up this morning and took its first sip of morning dew. And the master stopped him and said, You have found it. You have seen what can't be seen. And you have heard what can't be heard. To really have the divine impulse inside of us, we have to do the same. Sometimes it takes looking beyond appearances to see what can't be seen, to hear what can't be heard, to the glory and specialness of God that is in our lives every single moment.